I'm going to keep talking to you guys about training your dog to come to you to get a 100% recall. We've got the two German Shepherds here. They're nine months old, Luna and Charlie. You guys keep asking a lot of questions in the comments about how to get your dog to come to you perfectly. And here's the issue. Me and Dawson were just talking about it. Every dog here is going to come to me because of the method. So I'm like, how do we get dogs that don't come so I can show the subscribers how to get them to come, the go get method. I don't know if they're not, I don't know if they're gonna come to me or not. So I kind of hope they don't so you guys can see the go get method. But the go get method isn't everything. The go get method is the final piece of the puzzle to training your dog to come to you. What are the other pieces? The other pieces are a lot of treats. I've said this in all my recall videos. When they're young, two months through seven months, you should be going, Charlie, Luna, come, come on. Showing them this treat, giving them that treat when they come to you, grabbing their collar and saying, oh my gosh, you're the greatest dogs ever. Thank you for coming to me. And that's it. And when they don't come, you shouldn't make a huge big deal of it because they're young, they're babies. They don't always understand the concept. They don't always do what they're told when they're babies, just like children, and we don't get mad at them for that. However, when they get to be nine months old, we are kind of over it. We have done the months of training, not with these guys, but you, you've done the months of touch or come and giving treats and giving love, giving all these things in your backyard, maybe out in the world in a confined area, in a park, you've done it all. Then they become nine months, 10, 11, 12, a year. Ooh, a year and they're still just blowing you off. We're over this, guys. And that's what I'm trying to get you guys to do. Be super nice. And then there is a point at nine months where you're like, come, you say come. You have that inflection, the k. You have to have it be high pitch. It's gotta go up real high rather than your monotone, same way you say. Your voice is like wind in the trees to your dogs. You talk to your dogs all day long, then you give a cue the same way, maybe there's a little inflection, still your voice. They still hear it all day. It's like Charlie Brown's teacher. They, they just, they don't even know what you're saying. You have to have some uniqueness to your voice. That's why German commands are good. The, 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 the language has, has a certain emphasis to it, okay? So you gotta give that command with some Everyone comments, people comment, and they're like, when, when, when I'm sitting there with my dog watching your videos, my dog always perks up, especially on the recall command, because there's a puppiness to it. The dogs just listen to. So you gotta do that, okay? You gotta give treats. Then they hit nine months, and you say, come. And they say, no, I'm not. You head out after them. Now, the main question with this method is that you guys say, is you say, and I've dealt with it, I deal with it, all the time is you say, well, my dog runs away and I can't get them. All right, you're the adult, you're the boss. I realize there are some time, I'm on an acre here. There's nooks and crannies. We opened that pasture gate so these guys can run down there because I was hoping they'd go down there. Guys, go nuts, go run away, please. Come on, come on. Charlie, come. Good boy, hey, I want you to watch Charlie. Did you guys see his ears down? Did you see him come to me with his ears pinned down? Now, is that because Charlie's a little bit nervous? It is, but that's what you want. I know it sounds crazy. You want an enthusiastic run up to you when you do the recall. I will take a dog going, okay, I might as well just go to that guy. I'll take that all day long because it's hard to get an enthusiastic run up to you. My dog, I did the go get method so much He'll often just come to me enthusiastically, but if he doesn't want to, he'll just come to me like this. Okay, okay, I'll go to you because I know you're gonna come get me. Who cares? That's great. It's called learned helplessness, right? It's a bad word to some trainers, but they don't know what they're talking about. You want learned helplessness when it comes to recall. A Little bit with loose leash walking, mainly with recall. You want the dog to go, I just, can't. that guy's gonna come get me. So I was saying there's nooks and crannies here. I head out. Dawson, who's behind the camera, my other trainers, we head out and we, we track them down. And they're jumping around and they think it's a big game. You guys write that in the comments. They think it's a big game. When you get them, though, they don't think it's a big game. You're, not, you're gonna get them, they're gonna feel the energy in your arm. Tell them, sit down. You're gonna see their ears pin. Oh, but Joel, but then they won't come to me if I'm 
mean to them. You're not mean to them, but if they won't come to me next time. Well, one, they're not coming to you anyway. And two, it doesn't work like that. The dog actually goes, I ignored her. She came to get me. She grabbed me and I was like, she, I thought, wow, mom is serious. Then next time they don't run away or they just sit down. Oh, that's better than not running away. The next time they come to you uh, slowly, the next time they come to you quickly. This is a process. This is a method that takes time, but I'm telling you, I'm telling you it works. You got to do it. This is not going to happen overnight, the go-get method. Learned helplessness has to kick in. And that is fine when it's dealing with your dog coming to you in all situations in life. I was at Dog Beach a couple years ago. I took a board and trained to Dog Beach. And uh, I think it was Pickles. It was Pickles. You've seen Pickles in my videos. And he was in the water. I said, Pickles, come. He said, no, nah, I'm in the water. And I just didn't have it in me. I, took my, I, I don't even know if I took my shoes off. I like went in the water. I got him. There, you're not getting out of this. He, and he's like, oh, my God, this guy will come get me anywhere. I might as well just go to him. That's the deal. Okay, let's see if these guys don't come. I'll try not to give, like, the greatest cue in the world. Charlie, come. Good boy. Good boy. Good doggies. Good girl. Good boy. So I said, Charlie, come. Took him a minute. He still came. I said, good job. I, I wish they wouldn't come, to be honest with you. They're all coming. Every board and train here is, Charlie, come. Good girl, Luna. Good girl. Oh, he came. Good boy. All right, if he doesn't come, I'm heading out after him. If he avoids me, I'm like Pepe Le Pew. For you older folks, the cat would run away. Pepe Le Pew would just bounce, 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 and eventually catch up no matter what. That's what I tell my clients to be like. You just start the, start the, start the process. You're not gonna run after them frantically, but you are gonna find them and you're gonna get them and they're gonna go, wow, this lady means what she says. That's recall. One more time. Charlie, come. Okay. I'm heading out. Good boy. He made the choice to come to me, so he's going to get reinforcement, petting reinforcement. Okay. They're doing good. I wasn't able to show you tracking a dog down over an acre, but I'll try to show you again. But these are the concepts that matter. That's the video. Work on it. Subscribe to the channel.